Hey Emily, have you ever heard about the Second Nigerian Republic? It's a fascinating period in Nigerian history. Yes, I have. The Second Nigerian Republic was established in 1979 after a long period of military rule. It's interesting how Nigeria transitioned from military dictatorship to democracy. Absolutely. The First Nigerian Republic, which existed from 1963 to 1966, was marked by political instability and ethnic tensions. After a series of coups, the country fell under military rule. The Second Republic was a fresh start, an attempt to restore democracy. Right, and the Second Republic had its challenges too. One of the significant issues was the struggle for power between different ethnic groups, particularly the House of Fulani, Yoruba, and Igbo. Managing these tensions was crucial for the stability of the Republic. Definitely. The 1979 elections were a turning point. The Nigerian People's Party NPP won in the southeast and parts of the north, while the Unity Party of Nigeria UPN, led by Chief Obafemi Oilawu dominated the southwest. The National Party of Nigeria NPN secured victories in other parts of the country. It's interesting how the political landscape was divided along ethnic lines. This division often led to tension and sometimes violence. The government had to find a way to unite these diverse groups under a common national identity. Yes, and economic challenges were prevalent too. The country faced issues like inflation, unemployment, and a struggling economy. The government had to implement policies to address these problems and promote economic growth. Speaking of economic policies, there was the Operation Feed a Nation program initiated by the government to boost agricultural production. It aimed to make Nigeria self-sufficient in food production and reduce the dependency on imports. That's right. Agriculture played a crucial role in Nigeria's economy, and investing in it was essential for the country's development. Additionally, there were efforts to diversify the economy and reduce dependence on oil revenue, which had been a significant part of Nigeria's economy. Oil, of course, was a double-edged sword. While it brought revenue, it also made Nigeria vulnerable to fluctuations in the global oil market. Managing the oil sector effectively was crucial for the economic stability of the Second Republic. Absolutely. Mismanagement and corruption were challenges too. Corruption eroded public trust in the government and institutions. Addressing this issue was necessary to build a strong and stable democracy. And let's not forget the issue of human rights. There were concerns about political repression and violations of civil liberties during the Second Republic. Balancing national security with individual freedoms was a complex challenge for the government. True. Human rights are the foundation of any democracy, and upholding them is essential for the legitimacy of the government. Striking the right balance between security and individual freedoms required careful policy making. It's fascinating to see how all these factors, political, economic, and social, interplay during the Second Nigerian Republic. The Republic was a critical period in Nigeria's history, shaping its path toward democracy and development. Absolutely, Emily. The Second Nigerian Republic serves as a valuable lesson, highlighting the complexities of nation-building, democracy, and economic development. Studying this period provides insights into the challenges faced by emerging democracies and the importance of addressing diverse issues to ensure the stability and prosperity of a nation. I completely agree, Alex. Learning from history is crucial, especially when it comes to understanding the intricacies of political and social dynamics. The Second Nigerian Republic, with all its challenges and achievements, remains a significant chapter in the story of Nigeria's journey toward a more stable and democratic future.